top of the morning to you on Fan Mail Friday. It is a fun Fan Mail Friday because it's our first Friday in March and it's the Friday before St. Patrick's Day and you'll see a lot of St. Patrick's mail um, wishing me lots of luck, uh, which is great. Let's start out with Miss Marcy and her beautiful gatefold uh, card. And yeah, this is those new dies, Marcy. Thanks for using those. Uh, it looks so pretty when you cut the concentric layer and emboss it. I think that's lovely. And Marcy is telling me about her... Um, her pursuits. She and Kathy have uh, been visiting together and they had their own mini create uh, event and her she has a craft area and everything. She says she says thank you for helping us share in life's milestones. Thanks for being excited about what we create with your products and thanks for helping us look good at doing something. Oh, now Miss Marcy, I think that's just awesome. I need to like put that as a quote somewhere for people to read. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now this card is from Jerry and Jerry's been working with her wildflower garden and her cricket uh, with the uh, foil quill pen. That's really fun. And it was her first card that she uh, made with the kit and she'll be making her one for her daughter's birthday. Isn't that nice? Uh, a little finishing school class there. There's a lot of finishing school comments comments in here today um, and so you want to you want to pay attention if you haven't joined us in finishing school it is our new subscription platform where we teach you how to make all kinds of things with our products okay now these are from Kathy and uh, happy Easter with the little bunny how cute look 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 so so cute they're adorable and Kathy writes it says, she says, the first time she, uh, she saw the wildflower box, she thought the dyes needed to work for Easter. And, you know, that's so true. That, that oval dye works perfectly for Easter. Um, and she has a request for more vintage Easter toppers and, um, and eggs and bunnies and chicks. So our Easter stickers and our springtime collage card toppers do fill the bill. So those are available for you. Okay. Now, how fun is this? All right, so I have this fancy envelope, all custom made, and look at the cap. And the, the, it's the mortar board for graduation. It says, finishing school, class of 2020, congratulations. Uh, this is from my buddy Jeannie, and even on the back, beautiful in the making. I guess when you graduate, you are beautiful in the making. Uh, and it says, dear Anna, I can't say enough about how great finishing school is. I'm proud to be a part of the class of 2020. Go ragdolls. That's so funny. I laughed out loud when I read this that we had a mascot and who who knew? Go ragdolls. Need a little outfit, a little cheer. <laughs> oh, that was a, a nice laugh this morning, Jeannie. Thank you. Uh, and look, this is from Donna Lee and I actually saw this beautiful card in Finishing Schools community and it is so sweet of you to write about how fabulous that is and how much fun she's having and even when she's too tired to craft she just watches the videos and um, dreams up the things that she's going to make and so she's going to pick a class of the week and watch the lessons and then make all the projects and then make more with the skills that she learned. I just think that's wonderful. And she's really excited by the community and there are some crazy talented people there and she says I see you Richard. Oh it's so fun. So Donnelly, I just love that you did that and your envelope is, is beautiful too. I just think, wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? All decorated. Okay. And you know, um, boy, do, yeah, I love to play that little uh, game called I Spy with my little eye. Uh, and I like to play it in the weirdest times. But today, when I was opening the mail and I spied with my little eye this little, little, little kitty and this sweet name, I was so excited because it's from my friend Kay. And I'm sure that you all, I'm going to show you the card, all right? So it says thank you. And there's a lot of things in this, in this envelope. And I, I just want to, I, I wanted to show it today, um, not because I can read you what is written, um, because it will kill me. 
to talk about it. But I just want to say what's fantastic about you and all of you and me and what's happening here is that we support each other through the good times and the bad. And my friend Kay lost her husband this year, and she has had, and she lost her. Ooh, okay. Anyway, she writes about the Griffinites and how each one of us has risen up to surround her in her time of need. So thank you for that. And I just, I knew I would do this. Gosh, I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, thanks, Kay, for the card. I don't know why you would send it to me. Um, I'm just going to keep sending you cards. Okay. Um, let's, just, let's just move on. All right. Now look at this beautiful masterpiece with our compendium set. This is so beautiful. And now I can't even read. It's from Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl. She, uh, oh, she won the, the thankfulness card stock, and it brings her so much joy. And it's so pretty. She actually sent me a present, which is a, um, a, a chamois for the stamps. Who knew that you could clean your stamps with a little chamois cloth? Uh, that's really, really pretty. So Cheryl, thank you. Uh, so let's go back to the top of the morning. Um, beautiful things from St. Patrick's Day. We have two cards, of course, from Anita, our friend who's back in the card business. Uh, look at that. I, this is true Anita style with all of her beautiful stickers. And she says in the little purse, one that she got carried away and didn't re realize um, uh, that she just had to make two cards for me, but she also asked who had made the gingerbread house for um, for another for another occasion, and that was actually Janet Oliver. Okay, so I'm so glad that your creative roadblock has gone away. And she said when she was putting one together, she just couldn't help for herself, and she had to make two. So we love it, Anita, and thank you so much for you and your luck of the Irish. And, of course, you have all that fancy green glittered paper. Uh, and uh, so speaking of, we have uh, fi our finishing school star, Beth, and uh, I'm going to show you her one first card. All right, so this is amazing, box card, and look at that. When you open it, she, sell she tells me that she had to use, she had been saving up her Anna Griffin ephemera and to use in all of this and her cards, her damask card stock, uh, but that we definitely needed to make more for next year, which I'm on. I got it. More than six or seven people um, reached out to me and said, please, please make something more for, for St. Patrick's Day, which we definitely will. Um, so, Beth, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what inspires you when you are in Ireland, and I'm glad that you are such a fan of our community on um, finishing school, and we love seeing all the things that you are posting. But look at what the box that she sent me. I just think that it looks like our, our lace dyes look like Irish lace. Now, this was in the Finishing School Live projects that we were using this beautiful dye. And I think that w the way that you have constructed this and the collage of elements, but like inside, it gets really, really amazing. Ready? There's a little tissue in the bottom. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at all that luck. I am surely blessed. And, oh, and there's even more. Oh, there's a, there's a poem on the back. Oh. Oh, all right. We'll make sure and have a picture of this for you, and I hope this inspires all of you to make something for the holiday next week. All right. One last thing um, to uh, I've you, you saw this if you saw in the community you would see I've seen this, but we didn't realize I think was that it was a box. And this is from Richard. Look at this. So it was tied with ribbon. I thought it, when I saw it, I thought this was the card. Well, it's a full-on box. And it was tied with tulle, and see, here's all the tulle. Richard, you just really outdid yourself. Look at that. Okay, doesn't that, I have, a, I have a special place in my house that I call my ladies' room, and it's, um, it's in the powder room. <laughs> but the whole wall, all four walls, are adorned with miniatures and um, paintings by women and, and things that are very meaningful. And this <laughs> needs to go um, completely there. There is, um, let me just show you in the back. This is the card. 
and Richard, I got the teacup, uh, just so you know. Miss Anna, the only thing I would add to the perfect sentiment is to create more. Have a beautiful day. Laugh, live more, laugh often, love endlessly. Yes, we should all do that right now and promote others doing the same. Okay, wow. That's some gorgeous mail. I am very, very grateful, and I, I tell you, it's, it's inspiring every single day to open these treasures and these gifts that you give me. So thank you so much, and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.